my heart is a spark Don't know if I'm ready, the closer I'm getting But know that I'm ready to start I'm feeling courageous, taking the steps that's never been taken Why can't I see the path ahead of me? Maybe cause I am the one who created I am the one who believe in I am the one beyond reason Every time that you doubt, now I'm a step up creating We are creating Today, I feel fantastic. I hope you do too. The waves, they come, they go. They help you expand to new levels you didn't even know. I truly want you to feel your flow. God, I'm rhyming everything. (laughs) Feeling amazing. The sun is out. My body feels good. My mind feels clear. I'm working on my business. I'm working on my art. I feel fully expressed in all different ways, romantically, physically, emotionally. It's just amazing. I'm eating my oats. And I love peanut butter. I eat too much of it, and I don't feel great. My bowels aren't great. And I just don't like the compulsion, the compulsive action of eating it. And I notice it. So I taper it. I, I fight against it. I feel it. And I, some days I let myself do it. Other days I'm really good with it. And it's just one of those things. So I'm eating my oats. I trained really hard. I ran like eight miles. Another breakthrough. I want to talk about running in another episode. I... Uh, I'm eating these oats. I cut up these fresh dates. I have, what else in there? Chopped nuts. I have oats in there. I put even nutritional yeast. It's just this glorious meal that's so good for my body. And I just trained my body so well the couple days before from running the eight miles to stretching that I felt like I was doing what's so good for my body and it feels so healthy. (coughs) So eating these oats, I'm more present, I'm calm, and I'm noticing I have the peanut butter right there in a jar, ready to have spoon after spoon after spoon, which I do. I take the whole jar with me when I sit down. I know I'm not alone in this. And I don't feel like eating it. And it's because I notice I just want what's best for my body at a deeper level. The pleasure I get from peanut butter is so good, yet it's on a top of these other feelings. And it's this underlying subconscious of, I know it's not good for me. I know I don't enjoy when I eat so much. I know my body doesn't feel as good when I overindulge. And just the act of the compulsion. The compulsion has an energy of, I need this. I'm trying to fill something. There's a void. I'm trying to get serotonin from something external. And so being so present and so calm, I didn't even want it because I was so in touch with what I truly want and it made the oats taste better than they did with the peanut butter. I was tasting the nuts more finely. I was tasting just plain friggin' oats so finely. And it's when you're so finely tuned to your energy, you can experience that without the toppings, it's better. And that is a metaphor for life as we always do on this podcast. Is I wanted to share that so, but the second I was having these bites, I felt so free. I felt free and I felt connected, connected to the moments, connected to my body, connected to my highest vibration. And that feeling of connection, knowing where you're going, knowing what you're doing, that clarity is such a free feeling. And that feeling of freedom is the ultimate. And I wanted to share that so badly. And I didn't think I was going to do a podcast on this, but I'm doing it now. And I'm just feeling it. I have this space. I felt that like I wanted to get out of my house after I just finished a few meetings and work on a Sunday and just didn't know what to do. And I realized I would love to share this. So I'm using this energy of this space instead of just compulsively eating, which a lot of times I feel like doing or going to do something without knowing why. A lot of times I just breathe and sit and relax until I get calm. And I felt like sharing, and this feels very inspired to just use this space of in-between tasks or in-between doings. Yes, it's an action, but just sharing that if you can find that calm and that presence, your true knowing is the greatest thing you can act on. And so I want to share this as well. Now, when I went to the gym this morning, after that oats experience a few days ago, I'm thinking... I notice in the gym, I want to get big, I want to get shredded, I want to do all these things, but the running and the stretching and even getting strong, the foundation of making every fiber feel good makes me feel my energy and excitement and bliss on a new level because there's no underlying emotion or energy that is dictating that action. So in the gym, when I'm like, what do I truly want? And you do that 
after taking that action, you feel so good. Just like when you're eating, if you're like, do I truly want this peanut butter? It's so hard because it tastes so good and the serotonin feels so good. But when you get to that true knowing of what you really want and you're able to feel the action connected to that true knowing, then it's if you you that action leads to you feeling in that new vibration and that feels so good. So I just want that for you to take a moment to be present and understand that you have everything. It's always there. The answers are always there and that you don't need these other things and you know what's best for your body. You know it's there. It just takes slowing down so you can quiet the other voices. And then when you take those steps, it feels so good because you're growing and expanding at a new rate. Your body feels better. Your mind feels better. Everything feels aligned. And I just want to share that feeling with you and I want you to experience that feeling. It feels like peace. It feels like excitement. And it feels like pure health. It just feels like the healthiest you can be. And that just feels like the greatest foundation so you can just have the most fun and be at ease and just enjoy this life to the fullest. So wanted to share that today. Would love your feedback. Uh, I have some energy coaching clients I've been working with giving me incredible feedback of health issues improving, relationships changing, uh, ways they express themselves changing right after a session because your vibration is different and you can't go back from that and reality shapes around your vibration once you hold your vibration. So I love helping people tap into their truest vibration and holding them there so that way their reality shifts to meet them. I hope you have the most beautiful Sunday you've ever had in your life. Whenever you're listening to this, I hope you take a moment to just remember you are doing everything perfectly and you know all the answers and to take a moment to say, what do I truly want? You can feel it if you can be quiet and still and just wait, be patient for that answer. It's always there. It's not something you have to search for. It's underneath all the other things. Slow down, breathe, breathe. And frickin' enjoy. Why can't I see the path ahead of me, man? Because I am the one to create it. I am the one to believe in. I am the one beyond reason. Every time that you doubt now, I'm a step up creating. This is the life that I came with. This is the light that I was made with. This is the trail that I'm blazing. This is the way I am creating. Seeing it all with amazement. Flowing right through all the mazes. Losing myself in the race. Follow the back. I am creating. Anytime that I lose touch, anytime that I lose trust, tap into myself and I'm back. I'm a creator. Feeling all the ways, got me on a wave. Hey.
Feel it.